I recently read Goodbye Things by Fumio Sasaki. The book introduced the author's journey to a more minimal lifestyle. He eliminated most of his possessions and now live with just the least of necessities. I have to admit, this is not my first attempt, decluttering or minimizing. Just like the rest of the world, I also got caught in the Marie Kondo. Does this spark joy? Fever. However, I find that I tend to get distracted by the different techniques. For example, instead of actually clearing the clutter from my closet, my bookcase, my home, I literally spend an hour looking up Marie Kondo's. Organizing techniques or a helpful organizer from IKEA. I found Sasaki's approach to be more relatable and straightforward. He presents a list of tasks and instructions and connects them with examples from his own experiences. It also contains the perspective of life from his own eyes. In the process of saying goodbye to his possessions, he gained clarity of mind and control his living environment. I think that's exactly what I'm looking for. Here are some tips from his book. This is Audible. Blackstone Audio presents Goodbye Thing. Fifty-five tips to help you say goodbye to your things. One, discard the presumption that you can discard things. Two, discard something takes skills. Three, you discard something, you gain more than you lose. Four, ask yourself. Why you can't part with your things? Five, minimizing is difficult, but it's not impossible. Six, there are limits to the capacity of your brain, your energy, and your time. Seven, discard something right now. Eight, there isn't a single item you regret. Throwing away. Nine, start with things that are clearly junk. Ten, minimize anything you have in multiples. Eleven, get rid of it if you haven't used it in a year. Twelve, discard it if you have it for the sake of experience. Thirteen, differentiate between things you want and things you need. Fourteen, take photos of the items that are tough to part with. Fifteen, it's easier to revisit your memories once you go digital. Sixteen, our things are like roommates, except we pay their rent. Seventeen, organizing is not minimizing. Eighteen, tackle the storage before the past clutter. Nineteen, leave your unused space empty. Twenty, let go of the idea of someday. Twenty-one, say goodbye to who you used to be. Twenty-two. Discard things you have already forgotten about. Twenty-three, don't get creative when you try to discard things. Twenty-four, let go of the idea of getting your money worth. Twenty-five, there is no need to stock up. Twenty-six, feeling the spark of joy will help you focus. Twenty-seven, 
Optional service are quick ways to part with your possessions. Twenty-eight. Use options to take one last look of your things. Twenty-nine. Use the pickup service to get rid of your possessions. Thirty. Don't get hung up on the price you initially paid. Thirty-one. Think of stores as your personal warehouses. Thirty-two. The city is our personal floral plant. Thirty-three. Discard any possessions that you can discuss with passion. Thirty-four. If you lost it, will you buy it again? Thirty-five. If you can't remember how many gifts you gave, don't worry about the gifts you've gotten. Thirty-six. Try to imagine if the person passed away would want it. Thirty-seven. Discarding memorabilia is not the same as discarding memories. Thirty-eight. Our biggest items trigger chain reactions. Thirty-nine. Our homes are museums; they don't need collections. Forty. Be social. Forty-one. Rent or can be rented. Forty-two. Social media can boost your minimize motivation. Forty-three. What if you started from scratch? Forty-four. Say see you later before you say goodbye. Forty-five. Discard anything that creates visual noise. Forty-six. One in, one out. Forty-seven. Avoid the conquered fallacy. Forty-eight. Mistakes help you grow. Forty-nine. Think of buying as renting. Fifty. Don't buy it because it's cheap. Don't take it because it's free. Fifty-one. If it's not a hell yes, it's a no. Fifty-two. The things we really need will always find their ways back to us. Fifty-three. Keep the gratitude. Fifty-four. Discarding things can be wasteful, but the guilt keeps you from minimizing is the true waste. Fifty-five. The things we say goodbye to are the things we will remember forever. Fifteen more tips for the next stage of your minimal journey. One. Fewer things does not mean less satisfaction. Two, find your unique uniform. Three, we find our originality when we own less. Four, discard it if you thought about doing so five times. Five, if you've developed your minimal skills, you can skip the see you later stage. Six. A little inconvenience can make us happier. Seven, discard it even if it sparks joy. Eight, minimalism is freedom. The sooner you experience it, the better. Nine, discarding things may leave you with less, but it will never make you a less person. Ten, question the conventional ways. You are expected to use things. Eleven, don't think, discard. Twelve, minimalism is not a competition. Don't boast how little you have. Don't judge someone who has more than you. Thirteen, the desire to discard and the desire to possess are flip sides of the same coin. Fourteen. Find your own minimalism. Fifteen, 
Minimalism is a method and is a beginning.